Welcome, this is Jill Ryan from Kunamash and Associates. I hope today is a wonderful one for you. And this is the next in our series of tips related to Joint Commission top findings, which are always related to significant patient safety, patient care, physical environment of care um, uh, issues and concerns. Today's is related to the medical record and um, records being incomplete. And when we say that, we most often think of dating and timing, but also think about legibility, missing documentation, documentation that does not facilitate communication among disciplines, that doesn't reflect the patient's needs, the patient's goals, interventions, uh, accomplishments towards those goals, um, etc. So in an... Uh, an arena where we still often have a um, at least a hybrid medical record, um, some components electronic, some components on paper, um, we still have the dating and timing issue. So how do we deal with that? I'd encourage you to look at what documentation is indeed still on paper and um, do those forms have prompts to remind practitioners to date and time their entries or their signatures? Um, look at your policies. Are we requiring patients and family members when they sign um, consents and acknowledgement of patient rights, responsibilities, that kind of thing? Are we requiring dates and times on that? Um, which is fine, it's not required that we require it, um, but surveyors will hold you to whatever your policy uh, sets for. In terms of making sure that that medical record truly reflects the patient's care and is complete, um, we all do medical record reviews um, but very often they're still done by just a select group of individuals in the organization, perhaps the HIM department or a medical records committee. Consider broadening that to a, a wider range of disciplines and of individuals so there's a greater appreciation for, you know, we all know where our documentation is and the important components of our documentation, but are we uh, as disciplines understanding understanding the documentation requirements and locations and nuances of our colleagues in order, and remember, this is all in order to best meet the needs of our patients. So think of that electronic health record truly as still as the patient's story and as a communication vehicle. I would say that some of these top findings are, in the words of Beauty and the Beast, um, tale as old as time, but they really are truly meaningful issues. And that record needs to reflect that timeline, it needs to reflect that patient's story. Some of the challenges that we've spoken on up to date, we're about midway through our tips. Um, so in reflecting, I would say that some of the challenges that we've spoken uh, about up to date have really been around for quite some time, but that's because they're not easy fixes. If they were, we'd have fixed them by now. So the best way um, to identify risk reduction activities and or to, to broaden our thought around risk reduction activities and best practices is to share them, and we look forward to your doing that. I also look forward to your participating in the next in our series. Thank you and have a great